Well, it's been a while. How y'all been doing? Um, what you're looking at right here is a desktop of uh, a new laptop I bought a little over a year ago. Uh, it's a Dell Vostro 5301. 13 inch screen um, i7 processor uh, 8 gig of RAM came with a half a terabyte of SSD but uh, I upgraded it and uh, imaged the drive to a 1 terabyte <clears throat> um, came with Windows 10 you know I've uh, resisted, and I will as long as I can, resist upgrading to Windows 11. But once I got the one terabyte drive, I was able to uh, use a little bit of that space to dual boot and load Linux. Uh, this is MX21.3. It's based on Debian. And I like it better than Windows 10. I like using it better than Windows 10. Uh, the reason I bought a new laptop, I, I had an old one. It was slow, but it worked. It still works. But um, I had uh, purchased um, Adobe Photoshop elements and premiere elements to uh, basically edit some videos and I had problems editing videos in that old laptop so I said well I guess it's time to get a new laptop normally th this Vostro 5301 is not the Dell computer I would have bought um, I think they make it's I think it's called the Dimension XPS. That would be the one I would want. But the one I want's around two thousand dollars. Twenty one hundred, twenty two hundred, something like that. Um but since I have purchased computers from Dell in the past, I get emails and when they have sales, they let me know. Well this Vostro, I think normally when it was new they were asking like eighteen hundred bucks for it. 1500 whatever cheaper cheaper than uh, uh, the I think they're called dimensions not the latitude but it's XPS um, anyway this was on sale for like 600 something bucks so I said well that's a pretty good bargain I think it'll do the job so I went ahead and bought it uh, it's been a real good laptop other than the dual video issue that I uh, encountered everything else seems to work fine it was easy enough to uh, I think I paid 30 bucks 35 bucks for a one terabyte uh, NVMe whatever uh, drive I installed it myself imaged got the image myself um, and um, <sighs> That was easy enough, and I thought, well, you know, I think I'd like to upgrade it to 16 gig of RAM. Well, can't do that, because this has RAM soldered to the motherboard. Normally, I would never buy a computer with the memory, processor, any major component soldered to the motherboard. I want to be able to swap it out easily myself and fix it. Uh, I don't have the equipment nor the, really the training. I have had soldering classes in the past, but I've never done any micro soldering on uh, super small components. So I wouldn't even uh, attempt that. If my motherboard ever goes bad with memory or pr processor or whatever on this thing, then I just throw it away and get me a new one. I'll salvage what parts I can out of it, of course. But anyway, I wanted to explain that to y'all. Um, the i5 just didn't have enough power, so I said, 
this is the one I got is not the most powerful i7 but I said hey it's a step up um, so I ordered it and uh, it's got dual video controllers in it uh, and another thing I do is I, I use OBS open broadcast software to uh, record streaming videos stream my desktop whatever my wife said you're not going to get in trouble for recording stuff off of TV and streaming stuff I told her I said no baby I'm using this computer just like we used a VCR back in the day you know Super Bowl was coming on you put in a tape you record the Super Bowl on a tape a uh, movie comes on you want to see you put it in the VCR and record it and use it for your own personal home use I said I'm using this computer to do basically the same thing I don't give these recordings away to anybody and I don't try to sell them of course and uh, it's just a personal video recorder that's all it is I do that on some old computers I've got here in my home office uh, but this laptop it would not record a window I, I messed with the settings in OBS and I was able to get it to record a couple of seconds and then it would quit so after much research um, I have found out that OBS has a lot of problems with laptops that have dual video cards Ta -da. <clears throat> so I wanted to load Linux on here and dual boot and with the Linux, it works fine. The Linux just uses one of the video controllers. It doesn't use the most powerful one, although there is a driver. I could uh, I could install the driver for the NVIDIA card, but I would be afraid that I might end up with the same problem. Windows doesn't work with those dual video cards because it uses one of the video cards to record part of the screen and it tries to use the other one to record the streaming video and it just doesn't work trying to use two video cards you know <laughs> it just didn't work but if you I tried in, in device manager I tried disabling each of them each of the two one at a time and seeing if I could get it to work with just one and the other disabled. I even uninstalled the video driver software for the NVIDIA. And I said, let me just use the Intel video controller and see if that just, and, and even that didn't work. But I'm pleased to say it does work in uh, Linux MX21.3. So, um, basically, I'm going to, I'm just playing, I'm, you know, I'm going to open up the OBS software. It's over on my second monitor, so I am going to... Bring it over here. All right, there's the OBS. And then I'm going to open up, for example, let's say I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And let's say I go to uh, YouTube TV. Let's move the camera out of here. Let's sign in. I'm bad. I saved my password, so I don't have to enter that. As much as I can, anyway. Well, here's the Waltons. Let's, let's. I'm about buying a second hand. Oh, hello, Grandpa. 
so let's see if I can move that back. Do, 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 do. Da 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 And let's say I wanted to record the Waltons. Well, I would just come over here and say, start recording. As you can see, you can see the video here. We live close to the land on Walton, and, uh, and we felt a natural kinship with the forest which surrounded our home. It was our playground, a source and of food and shelter. I'm going to stop. For our in the lore of our mountains, there were stories of travelers who had been lost in the forest. One All right, so I'm going to stop that software. And I'll go up here to... Uh, Home videos. I'll bring it over to this screen. We live close to the land on Walton's Mountain, and we felt a natural kinship with the forest which surrounded our home. It was our playground, a source of food and shelter, and a livelihood for our family. As you can see, um, what I was trying to do works perfectly fine in uh, Linux. Couldn't get that. And there's a lot of people also with the same problem have trying to do this with laptops, with dual video cards. A lot of people can't get it can't get it done. So. Basically, this is going to be my main system right here. And what do you say? Well, Dwight, how are you going to how are you going to uh, get along without Windows? Well, I'm not actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, VirtualBox. Let's put VirtualBox over here. And there's Windows 10 and a virtual session. Uh, come on. Let's see. It's on my other screen, folks. Let me uh, let me bring it over here. All right. And let's go ahead and put that at full screen. Now, I wasn't sure what would happen to my camera when I, or my webcam, when I uh, started my virtual session. But it looks like it's going to put it in front of Windows. So, here's my Windows session. And voila, I can run Windows as well. Um, the only thing... Hmm, oh, there it is. The only thing is... Uh, I can... With, with Windows, I can... Uh, I can bring the webcam over, and I could actually be doing the webcam in a Windows session. Uh, I can print. I've got a shared network printer. The, the, if I didn't tell you this was a virtual machine, you couldn't tell it. It looks so good. Um, which back in the day, Linux, when it first came out, it was... Terrible video drivers, terrible fonts. I mean, yeah, it worked, but it was nowhere near as, as slick or as pretty as Windows. Well, 
that is no longer the case. Really, the only thing I need for Windows 4, I use Quicken 2011. I don't care how old it is. All I do is it's an electronic checkbook register. I've got all my money that I've made and spent in that check register since 2010. Uh, that's when I switched from Microsoft Money to Quicken Starter Edition. All I need is a checkbook register. Um, and I've got one other. I've got a glucose log to where I can uh, 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 test my blood sugar because I'm pre-diabetic, diabetic, whatever. I have to. Uh, I do the best I can. I know there's people lots worse off than me. Uh, so all the greens are okay. There's a yellow and another yellow. That's kind of caution. Well, that's because I had scallop potatoes there. And here I had. Ooh, I had saltine crackers and some bean and bacon soup and some cheddar cheese. So anyway, long story short, uh, I'm just testing and I'm also just talking while I'm doing this. Um, but um, <coughs> in my opinion, uh MX Linux is superior to any Windows product. So I'm going to go ahead and shut her down. And we will close that. And last but not least, we are going to close my screen recording uh, program we're going to stop the recording and I'm going to review it and see what it looks like